Yeah, just a wow, what a great game. Um, a lot of pitching, you know, some, some decent defensive plays and just, a, I don't know, just seemed like both teams just kept getting out of jams. And, uh, you know, I thought our, our pitching staff was amazing again. Started with Hagan, who gave us six really good innings, uh, got into a little bit of trouble and then got out of it. You know, bases loaded. Then we scored one run and uh, almost had a double play that ball there, but, uh, you know, it didn't happen. But he uh, he finished it up. And then, uh, you know, Fouch didn't go great, um, gave up a two-strike hit, and then obviously hit someone when he was going to bunt and brought in Gabe Gackle, and he – he put out the fire, um, got through that next, th you know, that inning with uh, with no damage and uh, gave us two and two thirds, struck out, I don't know, five or six hitters and just pitched great through 42 pitches. And we felt like that was good. He was getting ready to go through their lineup again. Uh, we thought we'd just go with the left on left matchup, put the game winning run on first and left hander came in and did a great job. So uh, super job. Go ahead, Hutch. Dave, a theme theme for y'all all year has been responding yeah, when the you. other team scores. There. Can you hear me? We got you now. Okay. Dave, a theme for y'all all year has been y'all's ability to respond, and, and you did it again with a couple of runs in the six. Just uh, what what was your perspective of that sixth inning, and how what is it about y'all that y'all are able to respond the way y'all do? Yeah, I mean, that was big. We gave up a run. Could have been more. Great job, by like I said, by, by Smith. Uh, just – getting through it and uh you gotta i don't know how we went lead off man got on and then we I think we got a hit by pitch i don't know exactly what all went down but really really good bunt by holt it was just going to be a sacrifice and he laid a beauty down and beat it out and kind of got pulled off the, the grass was really wet from about the fifth inning on the grass was super wet and water was coming up and you know third base probably didn't get a great grip on that but uh just uh I don't know, proud of the way they, they found a way to score and things weren't going our way. I mean, we left 14 runners on tonight, got four hits. Carolina got four hits, and uh, but we got a big sack fly, and I think we scored on a wild pitch. And I mean, we were so close to breaking the thing open like three different times, just needed one one big hit, something to drop, and it never happened. And, you know, we, we, we found a way to hang on. So, But it was a great response there in the sixth after after a tough fifth inning. And Hagan, I think five walks, I think of the season high for him. And South Carolina leads the country in walks. Just just what what makes South Carolina so tough? And like does was that just a matter of South Carolina's approach, you think? That's probably a little bit of both. You know, they have a good approach and they'll fight you with a couple strikes. And, you know, Hagan walked a couple guys. It's gonna happen. When you throw when you when you pitch like that, you're gonna walk people every now and then. It's you know, throwing the ball in the mid nineties the whole game with a plus slider and change up and probably a little splitty there, whatever. But, uh, you know, it's just, it, it is what it is. Jackson. Coach, you mentioned uh, Gabe Gackle's performance tonight. I, I looked up the uh, stats. He has now allowed only one base runner when he's inherited 17 runners. Uh, just how, how, uh, how has he been so calm uh, coming up, going up onto the bound and, and uh, working around runners on base? Well, you, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. He he comes into the game with a little bit of calmness to him, and I think he's probably calm because he knows how good his stuff is, and uh, he trusts it, and he just he just attacks. And uh, you know, they got to figure out how to hit a pitch that's ninety six, ninety seven, and he dumps a slider in there. Got a really good changeup that lefties have a lot of trouble with, and uh, yeah, he just he's confident. He's good. Daniel. Hey, Coach, I want to ask about the play where the run scored, uh, I think, in the fifth, where, you know, it was a deep ground ball to short. Just how have you seen Wahiba's defense, especially in that moment, kind of? I mean, that was a huge play that, you know, maybe people forget about. I mean, he went over there backhand and threw that ball, used that wet turf, and it skipped over to first and got him by less than a half a step. And, uh, you know, if he beats that out. You know, it, it's easy for them to score two runs, three runs, but, uh, you know, Hagan was able to get through it. But that was a great play. He, you know, I, I mean, Hagan's done a great job defensively. I mean, he's steady Eddie. 
Um, not super flashy, he just makes plays. And I guess how good is it to keep the defense while the hitting is kind of slowly coming around? Well, the defense has been solid all year. Pitching has been solid all year. The offense obviously has been up and down. We've been able to create innings. We just haven't finished it. We haven't gotten that hit. I mean, uh, you know, there we were tonight. Uh, but it's been great. It's been great to have the defense and pitching and pitching is defense. So um, our infielders and outfielders, they're, they know how good our pitchers are and they know they're around the zone. I just feel like they're ready to roll every pitch and um, they made a lot of good plays. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Christina. Yeah, Dave, South Carolina's starter was pitching pretty well before that, I guess, apparent injury. Just what was he doing well in those first couple innings? You know, it was uh, – he had us a little frustrated. Um, his fastball had a little carry on it, and uh, we were having trouble getting on top of it. We were in fly balls. Uh, he only threw a couple breaking balls for strikes. It was actually backing up a little bit towards the right-handers, and it got in on him. We felt like we had a chance to get him, and, uh, you know, we never found out, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what was wrong with him. Does the uh, schedule change tomorrow, tomorrow change any of your plans for uh, some of the pitching or change like how long some of those guys can go? Well, I mean, I mean, the game will tell us what to do, but, you know, example, we, we won't, we won't ask any, obviously Hagen or, or Gabe to come back tomorrow. I'm not saying Fouch couldn't throw again and Hewlett could come in, but uh, we've got plenty of guys out there that are ready to go. Uh, but we'll, We'll we'll go in the same order uh, as we we were playing in game one. We'll go Molina and then go Tiger game two. Coach, last one before we get Hagen Gabe on here. Yeah, Dave. Along those lines, you know McIntyre has been a guy you typically go to after Hagen. But did the the fact that it's a double header tomorrow maybe change your plans, or or how did maybe that impact? No, we just you know Coach Hobbs felt like that it was a good matchup. Um, Throws that sinker. Let's let him get a let him get through an inning or two, and uh, you know just one inning maybe, and get us a little bit closer to the end. Um, I think we he just liked what the matchup could have been, and I think it could have been that way. Uh, he, he had the first hitter down one two, and you know he just slapped one in the hole, and then obviously you know they're going to lay down a sack bunt and he hit the hit the batter in the head. I'm glad that he's okay, but. Uh, just felt like he was probably a little rattled and we needed to get him and uh, Gabe came in and did a great job. How good is it that you know and you still have McIntyre in the bullpen and several other arms too, you'll go into a you know day where you're going to play at least 18 innings? No, it's 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 good. I mean, we're going to use them all tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of innings played and it's supposed to be a nice day, not as warm as today, low 80s instead of 90, upper 80s, super humid today. Um, so, you know, we'll just... We'll just take it one one inning at a time, try to figure out how to get through it and move to the next. All right, Coach. See you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, guys.